Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food video just for you. I'm in the partly cloudy, partly sunny, beautiful city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at Mucho Burrito. I was coming up here to do a brisket one and then I saw on uh, a poster, it said ghost pepper burrito. And I'm like, stop the presses. We gotta do the ghost pepper burrito. And when you ask for the ghost pepper burrito, it already has uh, like a recipe of things that they put onto it. And that was the first thing the guy asked me. He said, do you want everything that's on it? And I'm like, of course, yeah, go for it. Uh, the only two things they um, asked at the last second, did you want cilantro on it? Yes or no? I said, yes. And did you want uh, extra, gu extra guac for $1.50? And I said, definitely. Uh, I've come to terms with the whole fact that it's freshly made um, guacamole every single day. I appreciate that. I know, I know avocados are expensive. I know it takes time to make them. I was just saying, other burrito places don't charge for it. Maybe they get theirs out of a can. I don't know. So let's get out the trusty tray and start eating. First up, the price, $10.50. They have a small, a large, and a mucho burrito size, which is stupid big. So this comes, I think, as a set regular size. It's $10.50 with uh, the $1.50, uh, so it's $12 uh, for this burrito. And let's see how big this sucker is. It is very gooey. It is very large. And I'm gonna be super full by the time I'm finished this thing. Um, so at the very beginning, they used the, I guess it's like a vegetarian uh, burrito shell, uh, soft tortilla, but it's it's red or orange. And he put like a, a, hot, a ghost pepper sauce on it first. The, pe the bacon that they put on there is ghost pepper bacon. And then the sauce finally that they put on the very end was like a burrito uh, ghost pepper sauce. So it's a triple threat mucho burrito. Oh my gosh, this is so big. It is so big and so heavy. Check that out. All right, scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat in the wrapper. Just like this, this is the way you would kind of normally. I like taking it out just to show you guys. And then after that, oh my gosh, uh, I'm, I have all the windows open almost all the way. Make sure my key's turned off. I've done that a few times. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm mm. There's something sweet in there. Almost like ja jam. Whoa. Whoa. I'm glad I got the guac. Oh, there's rice, beans, the cilantro. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken. Let's see. Some uh, red onion. Wow. That is beautiful. It's a limited time only, people. So and I think Mucho Burrito is just an Ontario chain. Mmm. So that's pretty much one napkin almost almost used up on those first two bites. Mm. Mm -hmm. The bacon is amazing. It's hot. I've eaten a bunch of ghost pepper flavored things and I've actually eaten a real ghost pepper as a challenge. And this is... Uh, it has definitely got the ghost pepper punch to it, but it's, it's totally bearable. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever bit into a burrito that was sweet, but this has the sweet, the savory, and all the textures that a burrito brings to the table. 
And uh, this is pretty much, I, th I think possibly, although I, I love uh, Mucho Burritos, shrimp burritos is my favorite burrito there. This is tying that at the moment. And again, you gotta put the guac on. I know it costs money, but I think it was worth it. Mm. It also looked like they only put the black beans on. Whenever I go to Mucho Burrito or any burrito place, and if they have both kinds of beans, I ask them to put like half black, half um, refried beans on there because I like the taste of both. Let me know if you prefer one or the other or if you're like me and add both. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every once in a while I get a big mouthful of ghost pepper bacon and the flavor and the crunchiness of the bacon added into this. I don't think I've ever had bacon in a burrito also and it is definitely uh, a bonus. All right, guys, just a few more very large bites of this amazing burrito. Mm. I knew this burrito was gonna be hot and it was gonna have a nice kick to it, which it does. Uh, I had hotter foods, definitely, than this, uh, but the flavor of it is, is what's really shocking me right now. And I can't stop eating it. Super delicious. See, I'm on napkin three. All right, guys, I am enjoying this so much, this ghost pepper burrito from Mucho Burrito, I'm gonna have to give the creators of this burrito a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite. And all you lovely ladies and gentlemen who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why, but you do. This bite is for you. Mm. Mm. Too much. Only one napkin left. I'll leave that one in here for later, for another time and place. Let's roll this up. Try to get the guacamole to stay in there. I'm not gonna throw this through my car, it is a disaster. And because I just rolled that up, I'm gonna actually need that last napkin. I told you it was a five napkin meal. And I gotta wipe up my hands, wipe up my tray, cause it is everywhere. Ooh la la. All right guys, no points for Ken. Okay, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give the ghost pepper burrito at Mucho Burrito, a go out and get it now. It was phenomenal. I loved the uh, the red tortilla, soft tortilla, the three uh, parts of it that were ghost pepper. Every single bite is uh, it was a tingling sensation. Uh, again, I've had hotter things than that. Uh, I couldn't really taste the flavor of the ghost pepper, and trust me, I, I know the flavor of a ghost pepper now. I've eaten them so many times. So it was just super spicy, just the perfect right amount of heat. Whatever was on there that was sweet just added that really nice flair to the whole thing. Uh, again, from end to end, that burrito was perfect. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't wanna miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. Mucho burrito. Um, so I go here. I am in the partly sunny, partly clot. This thing makes noises, I apologize. Every once in a while I get a nice big bite of their uh, bacon. Their, uh... All right guys, I'm enjoying this. Ghost pepper. All right guys, I'm enjoying this. I'm, <laughs> uh, whatever there, uh, whatever was on there that was, whatever was on there that was sweet, there was a, whatever. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching, talk to you later, bye.